Hey guys, welcome back to Python with Professional Prep. Today we're going to discuss classes. So if you remember last lesson, we had discussed methods, which we still see right over here. Today we're going to t we're going to uh, talk about something else called classes. And right now we're we're really diving into the core fundamentals of object oriented programming, which is um which is just something found in most uh, most programming languages nowadays, and it's really used to make code more clean and um you know make it so that we don't use the same code multiple times so it makes everything look nicer no code or i mean less code reused and um yeah let's let's dive into that so what we're going to be doing today is introducing classes um we're going to be making a class called math um don't worry if you don't understand what i'm talking about right now um You'll hopefully understand what I am explaining to you by the end of this lesson um, with a demonstration. So we're going to make a class. It's going to be called math. Actually, no, it's not going to be called math because um, there actually is already a math class in Python. So we're going to do class calc. All right. Calc, not as in calculus, but as in calculations. Um, for now, I'm just going to put pass here. Um, pretty much this is just uh, this is just something so that we don't get an error uh, because we don't have anything in there so let's just put pass there and what I'm going to be doing um, is pretty much we have these two we have these two methods right over here we're going to be putting them inside our class um, uh, our calc class and yeah it's pretty much just going to be able to perform calculations for us um, and then afterwards we're going to be creating an object of this class um, which I'll show you so yeah uh, let's let's continue just gonna get rid of this all right so let's first indent all of this under our class over here okay our very first thing is to have this one special method called in it pretty much you might be wondering what is in it, right? Um, sorry, um, in it in Python it stands for initialize. All right, so in it means in initialize. Um, I'm just gonna put here. I'll just put a couple parameters. Um, I'll just I'll describe them a little later. Okay. So pretty much this is initializing. So whenever we're going to make an object of uh, this class, which you don't yet understand but um just stay with me here whenever you make an object of this class it's going to automatically call this method this is the one method that will automatically run as soon as you make an object so that's what initializing means initializing is like um some other words are instantiate or like jumpstart um so yeah those are some words words to maybe help you understand the definition so what we're going to do is um just use this keyword self here um i'll describe this a little uh, like right after so self num1 equals num1 and self num2 equals num2 so what am i doing here we have these parameters um num1 num2 this self is pretty much um it's like referencing the class um, you can, you can use some other word other than self, but, um, I think everyone would prefer you use self because, um, that's just kind of what is accepted in the Python community. Um, it just makes everything so much better. Everyone already knows what you're referring to as, uh, like whenever you put self. So I would just recommend using self, um, for the first parameter in every method inside of a class. So put self there. Um, and now we can start our methods um sorry our parameters so this is our first parameter num1 this is our second parameter num2 and what we're going to be doing is um we're going to be calling self dot num1 now what this means is self is again a direct reference to uh our class and then we're zeroing in on this one variable self dot num1 and then we're assigning it to this num1 parameter, which we called over here. Or we asked um, the programmer in the future to input here. 
Uh, same thing with num2. Uh, here is self.num2. We're calling the reference to the class and then assigning it to num2 over here, which is what we had called inside the parameter. Um, so now we have these two variables that we can use anywhere inside of our class. So we're going to be removing the parameters of these two um, of these two methods. Just gonna put self there. So in every method, as I had said before, in every method you have to put self, and pretty much this is just um, this is just something you put to reference the class. And now let's just um, remake our methods. So it's going to be def um, sum with self in the parameter. It returns self.num1 plus self.num2. All right. Um, you can see all we really did is just put self in the beginning. So why don't we just do that for uh, this next one over here, self.num2. All right. Now we have these two methods inside of our class. Um, we could, of course, build on this um, using the same format, the same structure. If you wanted to add another parameter, you could obviously just put a comma and then you know put something else here. Um, but for our purposes, that's not needed. So now we have this class. Let's quickly run it, see what happens. Oh, nothing because we haven't really done anything with this class. So let's do something with the class. Um, I'm going to make a new variable um, or a new object. It's going to be called object one. All right. Uh, I know, very creative, but I uh, couldn't think of anything else at the moment. So object one equals calc open and close parentheses. So you can see it's highlighted green just as it is over here. All right. Now let's run it and see what happens. All right, nothing happened because we haven't actually put anything inside the parameters. Remember we had asked for our first and second number. Let's put something there. So we get one and two. All right, um, let's put something. All right, and let's run that again. Nothing happens because we haven't done anything. So um, let's print, let's print object one dot do sum. All right, so what I'm asking Python to do here is return the sum of this object, which we had declared up here, or in, yeah, declared, or initialized. Um, okay, this is what gets printed out. Um, so let's just put the two parentheses there. All right, um, yeah, so we get three. Uh, what we had done in, uh, in the previous case is we were actually calling the, um, memory location, which is what this large number is. Um, you don't really need to know, uh, exactly what is happening there, but you know, just in case you wanted to know. So yeah, uh, we've forgotten the parentheses. Now we have them when we run it, we get three, um, you know, we can change this to two and this to four get a six and we can also call our other method object one dot um greater was it yep okay greater and we will get false because two is not greater than four so um yeah pretty much what we're doing is we're creating an object um an object of the calc class and then we're calling methods inside of that uh, we're calling methods inside of the class. So, um, or sorry, inside of the um, object. We can also call the variables. So we're gonna call num1. And you see that we don't have parentheses there because um, these are variables. And then we're going to call object one dot num2 as well. All right, let's run all this. All right, we get two and four because we had just printed out the variables inside of our object. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this was a pretty good inter introduction of um, object-oriented programming or classes in specific. Um, next lesson, we're going to be discussing inheritance, 
which is um, also another big portion of object-oriented programming. So yeah, stay tuned, have fun with your programming adventures. See you next.